Greetings everyone. This is Sean back with another astrology video for you and it's so great that you could join me. I'm going to talk about a particular placement we'll all have to wait until the year 2067 for so I may not be alive by the time it begins. Yes, I'm referring to Pluto in Aries which will happen starting in 2067 and end in 2097. Wow, 30 years transiting through one sign. That's because Pluto is the furthest planet away from the sun. It takes approximately 248 years for it to complete one cycle. And due to its elliptical orbit, it often spends decades in one sign. Now, before we begin this discussion, I just wanted to briefly apologize for some misinformation I shared. In my video about Pluto and Pisces, I mentioned that it would, it would end in 2063. After a little online research, I found out that it will actually end in 2068. Pluto will retrograde into Pisces in 2067 before entering Aries in 2068 for good. So to everyone who watched that video, my sincere apologies. Now let's get into the heart of Pluto in Aries. So what will this long placement bring? Well, we have to consider what the planet Pluto and the zodiac sign of Aries both represent. Pluto symbolizes death, transformation, rebirth, regeneration, and transmutation. It is personified by earthquakes, terrorism, war, nuclear weapons, and mass extinction. Aries is characterized by strength, brute force, courage, bravado, leadership, and being a champion. Since Pluto in Aries will last for 30 years, its effects will be generational at both the individual and the collective level. Therefore, during this period, mankind will be faced with a dire choice to either endure beyond this world or face the end of our reign as a species on Earth. In order to emerge as a collective whole, we will need to kindle a new pioneering spirit to go beyond our world into space to seek out new habitats within the galaxy before our resources become too scarce. It'll be reminiscent of the mid-19th century, with the great expansion into the western frontier by American settlers and the growth of European powers into Africa, Asia, and the Australian continent. In fact, these events occurred the last time Pluto was in Aries, between the years 1822 and 1852. Pluto in Aries is a time of expansion, exploration, and a strong political will amongst civilization. Mankind has an unusual level of courage and a desire to stay strong and resilient. Survival instincts throughout society are prevalent. A renewed sense of going beyond where no one else has gone before is the cultural trend. The next Pluto in Aries period will occur when space colonization is all the hype. Like which planet does one want to move to? Which space station can give one living space and comfort? Which rocket charges the lowest rates, etc.? It'll be an era of deep space exploration, not only for scientists, but for common citizens alike. The race will be on to colonize as much habitable planets in the solar system as possible. Star Trek themes will be played out. As individuals, Pluto and Aries natives possess great courage to overcome many obstacles. They have incredible faith in their talents and natural abilities and have the perseverance to succeed in, in, in any endeavor they hold dear. They seek positions of power and leadership, sometimes at the cost of morality. They can sometimes be ruthless in the pursuit of wealth and material gain to the point when it's survival of the fittest. Pluto and Aries people, in my opinion, often have the attitude that only the strong will survive, which will only isolate them further. They need to cultivate a sense of fairness and equality in order to be of greater benefit to humanity. Nevertheless, they will fight to the bone for the truth and justice in any situation, making them ex excellent detectives and psychologists. Here are some key events that took place while Pluto was in Aries the last time during 1822 to 1852. The source, is, the source of this info I got was from Wikipedia. Okay, so in 1822, de Brazil declares independence from Portugal. In 1830, Belgium declares independence from the Netherlands. 
1831, the French Foreign Legion is formed. And in 1832, Greece as a sovereign nation is formed. And in 1833, the city of Chicago, Illinois, is founded. In 1836, we had the Battle of the Alamo. Let's see what else here. Um, in 1840, New Zealand is declared a British colony. And in 1841, El Salvador becomes an independent republic. And in 1844, the Dominican Republic declares independence from Haiti. And in 1845, Texas is admitted as the 28th U.S. state. And in 1846, the Mexican-American War begins. And in 1848, Karl Marx publishes the Communist Manifesto. And in 1850, Los Angeles and San Francisco are founded. So no doubt, this was an era of expansion with the foundation of new sovereign nations. When Pluto is in Aries next time around, we will witness the same level of progress, but in outer space. So, this has been my presentation of Pluto in Aries. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. This is Sean Vandeveen saying peace, much love, and namaste. Thank you for watching. God bless you, be safe and kind to one another, and see you again soon. Take care.